Hey everybody, Jazook here, and welcome back to another episode of my journey. Just want to start off with uh, my apologies for there being no Village Craft episode on Wednesday. Uh, the day that I usually do my recording for that was my birthday, so I took the day off and you know hung out with my friends and everything. So don't worry, we will have a Village Craft episode all done and ready for next week. Um, and with all this extra time and stuff, it'll be uh, a little bit bigger episode, hopefully. Uh, but anyways, that was that. Uh, I also want to say thank you to everyone who commented uh, and left their opinions on the previous video, uh, talking about the whole YouTube monetization thing. Uh, getting to see all your thoughts and opinions is really cool, really awesome, and I love having those discussions. So big, big thank you to everyone who participated in that. Uh, but all that stuff out of the way, well, we can now get into today's episode. And today's episode, we are making a bakery. So I've been doing some work in a creative testing world, kind of working out some designs for a bakery. I finally came up with one that I actually like. And so we're gonna be building that thing today. I think the plan is to put it over here uh, just based on everything, I think right here is probably the best space for it. So we're going to get that all built up and it's going to be looking awesome. And then we are also going to put in that texturing in here. Um, I said I would get around to it. I just needed to get a few resources out of the way. Uh, but some of you are very upset by the endless sea of bricks. And believe me, I am too. Uh, <laughs> not, uh, not a lot of fun to look at, but... We'll be getting that texture in here, and it's going to be looking a lot better. Uh, but before we can get into completing those projects for today, I need to get all my supplies for that. So I'm going to go grab those, and then I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty, we got all of our supplies all ready to go. So let's get to building this thing. So the plan is we're just going to mark out the framework right now. So we got one here. We're going to go across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going this way. Did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want a spacing of eight. There we go. That's better. And then do that right there. Okay. So that's uh, this is going to be the basic outline uh, frame of the bakery. So now we can put in our walls. So the walls are just going to go one back. And I think our doorway was right there where I just covered it up. There we go. So yeah, we're going to have our walls set one back like this. And then, uh, just kind of for comparison, you can see the other building over there. We're sticking to the same uh, kind of general design idea uh, as far as textures and stuff. Um, but there are going to be differences. So for example, this one, we have a double log on the corners here. It makes it a little more rounded. Whereas this one, we're doing just a single log on the corners. Uh, more. This one's going to be a little more boxy than the other one. And this sort of thing, we're going to do uh, a fair amount throughout the town. Uh, this will just help a lot with uh, having variation with the different buildings. Uh, you know, change up small details wherever you can. So we'll just grab some more logs, finish putting this guy all in, and then we should be able to work on the roof. So just pop one more of these on each. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Okay. So now, let's see if I can remember this correctly. Hmm. I didn't grab enough cobblestone slabs. So let's, uh, let's go grab a few of those so we can actually put our outline 
trim on the roof there. <laughs> 17 slabs. That's not going to cut it. So let's do that. And bam. All right, that should be more than enough. Hopefully, probably. Let's hope and see. So we're just gonna run back over here, work our way back up. There we go. So we're gonna do one directly on top of the logs, and then we're gonna go up one and bring it across like this. And then we're just gonna do that going all the way around. Bing, bing, bing. Nope, that's not where I want that. And then actually I suppose I can come back and fix these guys as well. Just kapow. Kabang. So bam, bam, bam. Keep putting these guys all in. And then we can finish off with some uh, dark oak in here, as we did with the other one. So we got that guy all on. Fix these two spots. Boom. Bang. Okay. So we're going to need another line. Spruce going around here. And there we go. Okay. So now we're going to grab our dark oak stairs. And we're going to actually do a lap around like this. Uh, so this is going to be a more... Uh, I guess, symmetrical square roof, essentially. Except we don't want that one there, we want it right there. And then put in this last side, bang. And then we'll grab our slabs, and we'll just go one up from that. Putting us up here, but not like that. Awesome. And with this roof design, it will also be, um, it's also going to be spawn-proof, um, for the most part. Mostly spawn-proof, which is what we're shooting for. Um, we can come through later if we really need to and make everything, you know, completely spawn-proof, but for right now, the goal is just to have things be mostly spawn-proof. Uh, that would be the preferred method. So we'll just get the last couple of these in and there we go. Okay, so that's the basic exterior design all taken care of. Um, I'm going to pop on the windows and stuff and then uh, also take a nap and then I'll be uh, right back with you guys to do the interior. There we go. We got windows in, we got doors in, we got a floor in, it's looking good. Um, so the fun thing with this is we have our front entrance right here, if I can close the door. But then we do have an entrance over on this side of the street as well. So, but now we need to make this whole area look good. So my plan with that is we're just going to do the dark oak wood stairs. We're just going to come through like this, and uh, just a heads up, I'm predicting that this style of ceiling is going to happen uh, fairly often, is my prediction. <clears throat> so, you can look forward to lots of this, but I mean, it looks good, and I like it, so do what works best, and that... Is that what works best? That's what works best. All right, so that's looking a lot better. And now we need to do some uh, decorating in here. So first things first, we need to actually make uh, an oven to make bread in and all of that. So my thoughts are, let's see, if we go 
here. Yeah, we'll go right there. And like that. So these will get... Oh, there we go. Those will get taken out. And then, um, let's see, if we curve it up a little bit, like that. Um, ah, very cramped working conditions. Maybe, maybe should have put this one in first, but that's okay. And then we'll just curve it around. Okay. Okay, yeah, good. That's looking good. So then, like that. Yeah, there we go. That looks like a pretty good oven. Um, except we can't get down there. So, I do not have uh, cheats enabled. And as a result of that, I can't have... Uh, I can't have fire spread turned off. So I spent a lot of time trying to come up with a design that would allow me to actually uh, safely use fire. Uh, but that's a little bit harder than it sounds uh, just because it can the fire can kind of jump a bit and everything and just set everything on fire. So, instead of using actual fire, we're going to use uh, cheaty fire. <laughs> Look at that. So, I mean, you know, there's a little bit of fire, smoke particles, I think it will work. And then once we get some of these in, it will look a lot better. We're going to replace both of these as well, I think. There we go. Okay. So, nope, 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 not water. That, uh, <laughs> that will not help our oven work, having it be water-powered. But, okay, so we put those in, and then we'll put our slabs back in. Awesome, there we go. So, we now have a oven that actually looks like an oven, looks pretty good. And now we just need to do a little little more design here. So I think we'll come through here and we'll have a bit of a like a we'll have like a counter right here. We have a little space for the, the actual baker to get back there. So yeah, you can just you come in here, you're like, hey, I need two, three loaves of bread, buy your thing. Um ooh. What if we make some trap doors like this? Yeah. And then we have some shelves. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So yeah, we can have some we can have some shelves in here that you would keep stuff on. Um I guess let's make another crafting bench. We'll just put that one right there, kind of complete that. And then for over there, how about we go with a actual chest? So we'll just put that there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, come in, you got the counter here, you got everything. The baker's got all of his stuff back here, you know, a little chest, his, his oven. He's got some more shelves and stuff over here. Awesome. I really like how this turned out. So, I guess the last thing to do would just be uh, pop a couple torches in here, make every sure everything's all lit up and we don't get random little uh, monsters spawning all over the place, but everything is looking pretty good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I really like how this uh, I really like how this interior turned out. And I do like how the outside looks. It's similar but different to this one. Um, I am realizing that both of these buildings are rectangular. Um, so don't worry. The next building will uh, will have you know chunks sticking off of it so it's not just so it's not just a box. The, ne the next building will make a little more interesting looking. Uh, but anyways, 
before we finish the episode, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna come through here. I'm gonna re replace a lot of this, make this all look a lot more interesting, look a lot better. So I will do that real quick. All right, we got some texture variation in, and it is looking much much better. Coming around, we got it broken up. With, you know, we got the stone slabs uh, do stick out a little bit. But I think they stick out in, I would say, a good way. Um, you know, just, it breaks up the sea of, like, this shade of gray. And then the cobblestone has, uh, you know, does a much more subtle job of breaking it up. Uh, I did also replace some of these stairs along the side with cobblestone as well, just to make sure everything got textured through here. Uh, I really like how it looks now. It's, it's much easier on the eyes, I think. Uh, but feel free to leave your suggestions uh, if you think I should, if I add, if I should add another block to this, if I should take one of these out, uh, leave all that down below. Uh, but anyways, guys, today has been a good episode. We got our bakery all built. We got all this looking a lot better, and I am looking forward to what we do in the next episode. But guys, that is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, then subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!